Okay, we're back with a quick tip on how to manage all of your posts in terms of organization. In the Google Classroom stream, you'll notice that as you post different assignments, they stack up in order of your postings. Um, that can make you a little bit crazy when you're trying to find different things. Note that you can click on the three dots and you can move something to the top. And then what that will do is that will do exactly what it says, which is float that to the top. Um, unfortunately, there's really not much else to be done here except kind of fussing with these things in terms of the order in which you want them to appear. However, two things to know. One is your last assignments will float to the top, which makes it easier for your students because whatever is more current is towards the top. They don't have to scroll up and down. The second thing that I would advocate doing is leveraging the topics area. So to do that, I'm going to click on add topic and I tend to do it by either chapter or session or unit or uh, module, whatever I, I want to do. Um, I'm going to label this as chapter one. I'm going to make another one called chapter two, just for example. Then what I'm going to do, and, and of course, if I had set these up ahead of time, I could have done them just as I was creating uh, each of my questions. But I'm going to go ahead and edit my content here. And now I can choose a uh, topic. So I'm going to put that under topic one and save it. And I'm going to, you can see that now it says chapter one here. I'm going to do the same thing with this. Chapter one. And this is a chapter two. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in chapter two. So the advantage of doing this is this is that even though the stream shows everything and you may find yourself scrolling up and down an awful lot, um, it, if you leave it alone, the latest and greatest will float to the top. That's number one. But number two, if you leverage these topics and you've categorized all of your posts and questions and announcements, etc., you can now direct your students as well as yourself to click on the topic. So if this is chapter one, Everything that I've added as a chapter one question appears. If I click on my chapter two, everything that I've added as a chapter two question appears. And I can even make my questions or assignments or uh, different types of things right here within these particular topics. Then that way, when I'm looking through lists of content, I don't necessarily have to poke through the entire stream. Rather, if I just go over to my topics, they are all laid out right there. I would advocate that A, you uh, set up these topics per your course, and I would also advocate that you number your assignments and it just makes it easier in the long term. And that's the quick tip for organizing your Google Classroom pages. See you later.